Hey YouTube, this is Prometheus giving you guys more than the meta. So guys, I want to go ahead and talk about a new defense I'll probably be running for the rest of the season. Uh, the nickel-wide defensive scheme. Um, one of the reasons why I like this particular defense is that uh, it offers me a lot of match coverage. Um, and the reason I like to have match is that I think a lot of players... They don't understand match, uh, and sometimes it just throws them off a little bit with their game. So uh, it's going to be essentially out of this nickel defense, and I'm going to basically have a couple base plays that I'm going to use. Uh, but, you know, of course, you've got the over, Overstorm Brave, which is going to get some really aggressive uh, a pressure. Um, I'm also going to be blending in... Um, you know some other plays here i've got the the tampa 2 that i'll be blending in you'll see this in the in the gameplay um also uh i'm going to be using uh the uh, this uh, cover three seam blitz is going to be uh, is the cover three seam is going to be one of my base plays, and then i'm going to jump into this cover one robber press uh is a base play too um it, it's just a, a quick audible play to go ahead and throw my opponent off a little bit so I'm going against a guy um, that basically um, is running, um, uh, you know, he's, I, I don't, well, he was running like a lot of like spread empty sets and then he would do some under sets. He was just pretty much trying everything out. Um, um, I decided just to jump into cover two. And one of the things I want to point out to you guys uh, is when I'm in cover two, um, it, basically what I do is I shift the line guys over. I'm going to actually go ahead and man up this, uh, use this user, the guy over the middle. Now I've got match coverage, um, on this. So I'm, I'm running match. And one of the things I do is I, instead of having cloud flats in the Tampa two, I put these guys in the soft squats. Um, and the reason why is that what they're going to do is if a soft squat, if this guy goes vertical against me, this guy's going to carry that vertical. Um, also, what this what this do, this vertical hook right here is going to match up to this guy and match this guy right here and match this guy. Now, my responsibility as a user is to man up on, on a three defender or the three uh, wide receiver. That's my responsibility is to cover this guy. So I'm basically just going to be looking for something something coming over the middle. If this guy crosses and this guy crosses, uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the guy go and then take the guy over as far as the play is concerned. Um, this is like one of the first plays. He goes ahead and jumps into a screen play. Um, my, uh, edge, my defender takes the edge perfectly. Uh, gets down and actually takes it uh, takes it away from him. So he's using a screen play, the wide receiver screen. This is an old school play that a lot of players had some really good success with. That I've used it before in the past. And usually against zone coverages, you can hit this, and against man coverages, you can hit the hit the corner out. Uh, but it's not as effective as, as it has been in previous manas. All right, so back at it again. I'm going to go ahead and run cover two because he's basically got basically two receivers over here. He's got two receivers over here, and then he's got his three. That's my responsibility. I've got to man up the three, and if the, if the three goes out to the flat, which is most likely going to do that, I'm going to go ahead and, and take any guy that's going to be coming over the middle of the field uh, is going to be the area that I'm going to go and look to. So I'm just going to go ahead and watch this. I can't watch the line. See how they got, I got these guys in soft squats? I put these guys in soft squats because they're light, more likely to carry if the guy goes vertical. And what he does is he actually motions uh, people over. Now, um, what this does is it overloads this area. So this is going to give you basically two, you know, three, and then potentially four guys in this area. So... Um, I kind of like this gets wiped out against us and you'll see what this opponent does is starts really overloading the zones and like he could pick up he picked up on the match tendencies uh, but he just didn't really know where to go with it so he's got this flat route right here but you can see these two defenders are going to come down and play that flat he's got a mesh concept uh, I think he blocked this one guy and then I think he's going to have uh, basically a post over the middle of the field and he throws quickly to the mesh concept, but because this guy stops and lets that, it lets that, that mesh concept go away and he, it's not man coverage, he actually goes ahead and throws right to my defender. Now, my responsibility is to keep going, going tall because this guy over the middle is going to be available, but he enters, I, I end up picking it off and getting the ball with a quick pickoff. So that was a huge play for me defensively, uh, using the cover two zone type coverage. It kind of messed him up. So after I score a touchdown, I go ahead and jump back into cover two again. See how I got these guys soft squat up. I want to make sure that if, they, if he goes vertical, these guys are going to go vertical with them. 
So that's why I do a soft squat. If you play cloud flats, they're going to carry a little bit and then stop, and then you can get exposed deep down the sideline. So that's why I use that. Uh, this guy's matching up. He's matching up, and I've got to go ahead and take care of this guy with my user. And let's see basically what happens. He goes ahead and changes up the play a little bit, essentially overloading this side. So I've got basically a, a one, a two, a three. This guy should match up on, a, on this 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 soft squat should match up on this guy this guy should match up right here leaving this guy ex exposed and that kind of puts me kind of in a bind with the coverage so i've got to kind of get over to this guy right here and i think what happens is i think he just hits me with a nice little inside run when which he does and um, i clicked off i actually went to the one of the vertical guy on the back side and as a result he actually picks up five yards so pretty good adjustment by him to jump into a 56 trap now I think um, um, I'm like, okay, he's running these these sets. He's gonna he's gonna bounce things around here. So what I did is I jump. I think into a man ver. Or actually, what did I don't even know what play I jump into. Um, he just he just hit me with like an inside zone. I might have jumped into cover two, which I did. Uh, but since I had everybody guys, I had my guys down into the box. Uh, he was able to go ahead and hit me for a big run. Um, and I just realized that this is just something I can't go into. Now, this is the play concept that I had the hardest time with playing against this guy. He's running bunch set, basically running back on the backside. Um, and this is something where he was quick. He was basically running the plays really, really quick. And I couldn't make any kind of adjustment. Like a lot of times with cover two, you want to use a cover two clip. And basically what you do is you man up this guy. And then you man this guy up with the running back. And then what you do is you user this guy right over here. But I was actually trying to click off, and I got stuck on this this man right here. And as a result, um, I get myself out of position. He, he hits me with a draw play, which is actually not a bad call. Uh, he actually stuck with the ROM, and he basically started chewing up this cover two. So I think this is where I actually – yeah, did I still stay with the cover two? All right, so – now I actually switch things up a little bit. Now I go into man coverage. So I've got this guy manned up. i got this guy manned up. And I've got these guys over here manned up. And I'm using this guy right here. I quickly jumped into man coverage. He actually got a pretty good run, but this guy's just blocking out for Thielen. He probably should have had uh, Jefferson on the outside instead of Thielen because every time he ran that screenplay, it just didn't work for him. It just He kept on giving up yards on that. Actually, was covered too. So... Right here, um, he's got the bunch set on the backside. I'm going to go ahead and just try to hit this guy with pressure because uh, if, he, if he's running six people, I'm going to get some pressure on the inside. My responsibility is to take user this guy down here um, and basically just kind of try to take away a fast read that's over the middle of the field because this is going to take a sideline. You've got this. You've got this vertical route right here. Um, so when he try to get this guy down in the box, try to take away fast read, he flips the play. So now um, I'm in a bad situation with the way he flipped the play because I don't really have I, I don't have a third guy out here. So I've got basically I'm using away these three guys right here. So that this is just a it was something he just did, did a quick adjustment, flip the play. I don't let's see what I did is I went ahead and put a hard flat out here. He motioned his dude up. So basically, this guy's matched up. These guys are matched up. And I've got, you know, basically a matchup. And I've got this guy going a hard flat. That's going to kind of put me in a bind defensively with this bigger play. He goes with basically a double mesh concept. And I think he's got the post over the top. And he's got the wheel going up. And I've got this flat taken care of. So that fast read is gone. But I have to chase this concept right here, exposing me right here in this window so that was just a good decision he actually he went back to mesh with something that he used on a regular basis and as a result um i i you know he, he exposed my defense on, on what i was doing no huddles back into it again and one of the reasons why i try to set my defense up really quick is so i have basically the ability to go ahead and, and, and bait my opponent so i jumped in this cover one I put these guys into hard flats, so I've got these guys all manned up, and I'm going to use this guy down in the hole, and I've got basically deep zone over the middle of the field with my read. I don't have a lot of pressure in, so he didn't run the ball, but you can see he blocked his running back. I've got basically you know nine people in coverage against him, and he doesn't know where to go with the ball right here. I come down, 
Uh, he's got basically this guy's taken care of, the sidelines are taken care of. This is the only crossing route that he has, but essentially it's triple team because I'm actually using another way. And I, I go ahead and send the spy after him, and he's got nowhere to go with it. So that's one of the nice things about making sure that you have man coverages when you're running a lot of zone coverages because you can quickly audible into it, make two quick adjustments, and really flood the zone and make it very difficult for him to see things. So that's why I, I ran with that type of coverage uh, as my next play. Now, that he was using a stick concept. Um, so basically he was... That was a concept that he was using against me. He'll come back to that a couple times and make some pretty good reads. Right here, I go ahead and jump into uh, basically a cover three. So this guy's matched up. He's going to relate to any guy that comes out to the wheel. So that's what I'm looking at. What I did is I took my, my user defender and actually go ahead and manned him up on the three. So I've got the one, the two, the three. The three is a guy that can carry. He's not going to get covered. This zone is not going to play this correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and man this guy up on this guy. This zone is going to go ahead and hit this guy. All I have to do is kind of defend this, this flat area right here. Make sure you can't hit this seam. Uh, and then just go ahead and use her, uh, any kind of a tendency, or any kind of crosser that goes over the middle field. So right here, I slide my line over a little bit. And then he does a really smart play. He takes this guy and motions them across the field. And um, this is something I wasn't prepared for. But when he motions this guy off, now this 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 defender that's in a flat seam is going to match up on this guy right here. What I should have done, when this guy motioned over, he's going to get matched up on this guy. He's going to get matched up on this guy. I should take my my man guy and put him on the new three. So this is my new three right here. So this is a this guy was doing a lot of motion, and because of the motion, it was messing up a lot of my match uh, attendant or setups. So look what he does. Um, I've got two guys jetting out to these guys. He put me in a position where the running back uh, is right here. These guys are matched up, so that's fine. He's matched up. I'm kind of like isolated a little bit because this guy's coming out in the flap in this particular play. But look what he does. He hits me with a screen play. And because this guy's coming into an in route, I have to get over with my with my user out here to defend this. He gets a nice block. Um, I get across the field. They actually had a couple guys right there. He has a nice little juke move with, with, by Cook. Uh, but he's able to go ahead and pick up a, a big first down. And the whole reason is that I didn't reset my three once he motioned his guys over. If I, if I had some guy that's on, on that screenplay, that's, that screenplay would have been completely dead if I switched my three. So that's one of those things with match, match coverages that I got to do. So I wanted to cover two right here because he's, he's in essentially a close formation. This guy's going to match up. He's going to match up underneath. Um, I've got this guy matched up over here. He's going to match up right here. And I've got to basically go ahead and watch, which essentially would be the three. But I want to watch anything that's going to come over the middle of the field. So I've got the mid read. I go ahead and close up the lines. This guy once again motions his guys over. Snaps the ball. The switch goes on right here. So you've got this uh, guy switching. I've got to take away the middle of the field. And I can just keep floating back because once this guy switches, he's going to go over here. This guy's going to switch over to this other defender right here. And you can see this flat rod is actually, this little corner rod is dead if he threw that. Smartly checks down to the running back. He was a check down to the running back the entire time. Um, and my defensive back actually whiffs on his on his tackle right there. Could have been a, a loss for a few yards, but you know I picked up. He only gets six yards on that particular play, so it's actually not a bad situation. Once again, with cover two, putting my guys in soft squats instead of the cloud flats to try to go ahead and close th close things up. So right here, stay stay with the cover two coverage again. Uh, he's got. Uh, let's see here. He's got the one, the two. The three, and then he's got the two, and then the one. So these guys match up. These guys match up. My job is to, to watch the three, but really in this type of situation, most people are going to mesh and put things over the middle. So I'm just going to play in the middle of the field and play the sideline. 
He goes ahead and slide this guy over. Now this is actually, this is just a really good decision right here. He goes with uh, basically a, a run play. I'm able to go ahead and get into the gap because it's a base because he puts an extra blocker out there um, and actually get in the end or get him in the backfield. So third and fourth situation, back at it again. Now he goes into bunch. He was using mesh as his money play, and what he did is he basically flipped the play. So you know it's a strategy I think that a lot of pros do. Let's see, he flips it. I, I've still got Claude Flats because I want these guys to play the sidelines and he's not going to beat me deep. So that's why I've got this set up. And my job is basically to go ahead and watch the middle of the field and pass things off. I wanted to shift my line over here so I'm actually getting, giving some, uh, you know, uh, some gap integrity and I'm just going to flip in right here if he tries to run the ball. But here's the mesh concept. So he's got a wheel. Wheels taken out. He's got a flat guy out here, which this, this cloud flat's going to do this. This guy sticks right here. This guy sticks right here. I'm playing underneath because I can't give up the yardage, but look at this route progression. Look at this read. I got a deep half right here. This guy's sliding underneath the deep half. He's obviously been in the end zone before because he threw that ball pretty deliberately. It's actually a pass behind him. Uh, but he's able to go ahead and get that as a completion, as a touchdown. So that was a really good decision by him. So the cover two, uh, uh, the Tampa two contain doesn't work good against mesh posts. You know, you have to kind of make adjustments from there. And we'll, we'll come back to that. I didn't really see that play a lot. So I'm up 14 to seven um, in the second half right here. I want to try to go ahead and, and slow him down. This is where he started realizing I was running a lot of match coverages. And what he did is he started overwhelming uh, my match coverages. So you can see right here. He's got basically, you know, he's got one, two, three, and then he's got four. So he's got basically this whole side overwhelming uh, my defense as far as my coverage is concerned. Let's see if I peek, peek at my play art. No, so I've got these guys coming out right here. I've got this guy that's actually hitting this one guy. And I, I, I really, I'm just stressed. I don't have enough people to play this correctly because I've got this guy rushing in. So what? Uh, a little bit later on, I start making an adjustment where I start, start doing a zone drop. But he hits, he hits this little flat route, and because I've had this guy manned up previously, I get that SWAT animation and knock it out on a third and seven. But what he was doing is he's just taking that other guy right here and actually making it very difficult. So uh, really, I had like three guys on this side. They're only defending one, one wide receiver. So uh, he was leveraging um, the fourth four wide receivers against me. So back at it again. Let's go ahead and see. I'm running, uh, I think, cover three. This is what I would do. I'd go ahead and man up his running back because he was using his running back as his primary read. He, he did a lot of check downs. I've got basically match concept. We're here with Jefferson. I've got a match concept with these guys right here. And then uh, this guy's going to match right here. And this guy's going to match right here against us. And all I have to do is just is defend this fast, fast pass area if he tries to hit me in the seams. So that's all I'm really trying to defend right away It's just stay in, stay in the seams. I shift my guys over a little bit just so I can I can get you know different gap integrities. So I want to I want to make sure that he can't get to the outside against me. And I think this is what he does. He once again he overwhelms the coverage, putting a fourth guy out there. So now he's got one, two, three, and then four. So I have to put this guy into a zone drop. I got to either put him in a hook zone or I've got to put him in a flat zone, but I have to go ahead and make sure that he, he can't overwhelm my defense. And I didn't do that. So I've got basically four, four down, linemen, down linemen coming down. And these guys are completely out of position. And right here, he actually hits uh, the running back route underneath. Or actually, the, it was a whip route that he put underneath there, and he's able to go and pick up a, some pretty good yardage. So basically what he did is he took this one guy and actually put him on a whip route and then slid him over underneath us and actually went ahead and whipped it across. So this is when, you, when you're seeing these type of things during games, you got to make these adjustments to make sure you're not, you're not falling into a trap. So manned up his running back because his running back has been a threat the entire time. I've got these guys matched up. 
Uh, but I've got basically a situation where this guy's matched up, this guy is matched up right here, and then I've got, I, I have to kind of use her way um, that type of a route right there. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it. I think I actually had, okay, so he's also got his tight end right here, which this guy's going to match up on the tight end. So I'm going to go ahead and use her right down, uh, down in the field, wait for him to make his adjustments. He slides this guy over. I'm anticipating this guy's going to come completely over to the other side, so I put a hard flat out here for the first time to try to go and take away that fast read. He slides over, and he runs the ball. So good, you know, he's blending in some pretty good plays right there. Uh, gets a nice hole right there. I miss, I miss my my gap, um, and he's able to go and pick up some pretty good yards right there with, with the quick base. Quickly audibles into um, the, the base play. And what he does is he's just, I think he's trying to do a vertical. He's got a corner, and then he's got basically a quick out. I didn't have anything set up correctly. Hits a quick out, takes the yards, gets the ball down and down to the 27-yard line. So really good decision by him to work that. Uh, actually, yeah, he, so he streaked up the one guy. He's got the corner out, and he's got the flat uh, with this particular concept. So the, that one guy was going completely vertical against me. Once it, once it goes back into this open set, and I'm going to go ahead and hit him with uh, basically a flood concept. F hard flats. I've got, you know, basically these guys matched up. You know, I've got pretty much all the coverage just set out there. And I, I go ahead and blitz my guy, but he just, golly, he just kept running back to this particular play. He could not get it to go. This is probably the best version of it where he just picked up a yard. Everything else was lost yardage. You just could not get that wide receiver screen. So he comes back to um, five wide. I'm going to keep doing this defense right here against five wide because the reason why this guy didn't have success with five wide is because he, he got rid of the ball really quick. I didn't hold on to the ball. I didn't wait for, for routes to develop. Um, he made really, really fast decisions right here. And... Wow. Okay. So that was a play that should have been shut down because I had a man car. I had this guy, I had that running back manned up. Back to the slip screen. So it was another version of that slip same slip screen earlier, um, but he's he's not able to get it off. Now he goes in a bunch. This is where he really spooed. Uh, he didn't read this coverage correctly. So this route is a C route, I believe. That he's actually this route should have been wide open. He's got a guy underneath, and then I think that he's got basically kind of a trail route, and he's got another route right here. He quickly gets rid of the ball to the running back. Why he was doing that is beyond me. Actually, that was just a bad decision on that play. So he lost yardage on it. He totally missed the guy over the middle of the field. Second and 12 situation, I'm going to go ahead. I think this might have been, okay, so this is where I ran into cover four. He's motioned this guy over. I've got this guy matched up. The good thing about cover four um, is that basically, I, you know, it's going to give me three three wreck type situation. But because he's putting four guys on this side of the field, I need to go ahead and drop another another route out here uh, just to keep you know just to keep him honest. So running back route comes out. I'm playing this scene. Uh, this guy's coming over the middle. This guy's dropping back. And he's got, no, he just threw, missed through the ball. I don't know where he was going with it. Uh, but uh, that was actually a pretty good situation for me. Not not too good with him. So he's using the uh, spot smash as a play. Jump into basically, I think, cover four again. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what I'm doing with this. All right, so this is where I actually kind of changed things up a little bit against him. Third and 12 situation, I'm going to go just once again because he likes to get rid of the ball quick. I'm going to go ahead and drop this guy into the zone drop, zone drop, and I'm going to blitz him and user this guy and basically go ahead and take away any kind of underneath stuff and anything over the top. So once again, he goes ahead and puts four wide receivers on one side trying to overwhelm my defense, but because I've got to go to the zone drop right here, I've got these guys, I've got this guy falling back, I've got this guy falling back. I got four people, my user, and then I've got basically another four on this side. 
right here, you can see this route is, is taken away. I'm using this guy down right here. I've also got a zone right here, another zone right here. My area is to go ahead and take away the crosser because I'm going to hand these guys off. Nowhere for him to go. And I've got a double team with the over the top. And I've got a double double team over here with this with this, with this uh, rear read right here. And he's not able to go ahead and get it. And as a result, I think he's got to settle for three points. So um, now I'm in a driver's seat in this type of situation. Uh, basically, um, I go ahead and jump into cover two against him. He hits the, the little flat route. I think he he almost breaks the tackle right there. But it's one of the reasons why I like to have just double, a couple in cover two is something I can jump into is that if he's running some type of a running formation and hitting the flats, I can hit that. Came back to this near formation. I'm going to go ahead and man up my running back because he keeps running going after that running back route. Um, and then I've got basically the, the concept right here. This is a smart read by him. This guy just can't get out to the tight end. I kind of bite down, and I just I anticipated that this route by the fullback is going to be open. I should have played the seam, and I gave it up when I actually when I came down like that. So that was actually kind of a bad situation uh, with this Texas concept. But he was just running. You just quick snapping these plays and running them stock. So back at it again. I'm going to go with cover two. I believe I would be running cover two like this. All right, so I've got soft squat right here. He's going to match up. He's going to match up. This guy's going to match up. I think the tight end's over here. He's going to match up. My job is to, to cover the three, and I'm going to essentially work this box right here to make sure nothing comes over the middle. So if the running back goes this way or goes that way, these, are, these guys are going to, to defend against that. So just going ahead and playing that. He checks, checks it down once again. Nice little play, a little move right there, but he picks up six yards. Not a huge play, and he's not moving the chains that aggressively, but it's it's okay. So right here, um, I'm going to go ahead and man up the running back because he just keeps using the running back. This guy's manned up right here. This guy's manned up right here. This seam fat's gonna, flat is going to take this away, and this is going to take this away. My job is to defend right here and then clean up on any kind of run play. So back at it again, he goes with a little run play. I get a nice block shed, get him down. It looks like it's going to be what probably a six yard loss. He gets lucky animation and breaks it and actually picks up a yard. So third and three situation right there. Um, once again, same with the same defense because this guy kept running, going with it again. I've got basically the one, I've got the two, and I've got the three, and I've got your your one, and then I've got your two. Because he kept throwing to the running back, I went ahead and tried it. I, I didn't give myself a lot of leverage over here on the right side. I didn't have an extra defender. I wanted to make sure this running back gets taken away because that was something he was going to a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and use her, this guy right here. And I think what I did is I did adjust and put a flat zone on here. So if you put some type of flat zone or like that, I've got a guy down in the flat to take that away. So I've got a third person to defend. And my job is just to defect, is just defend the seam right here. If he goes ahead and carries over, I've got two defenders that are going to carry and then pass off. I'm just defending the seam. He motions this guy over. And look at this route right here. So this, this, is, this guy's squeezing. He's playing deep. He's playing deep. I've got my one guy sliding out, taking away any kind of an out route. I've got him matching up to, to the two. And I've got to defend this seam route because this guy's carrying this guy right, right here. And what does he do? He misses this guy who's wide open and tries to, to, to hit my user. And on a rare occasion... I get an actual inter interception with my user, which is really something I never do, um, and able to go and pick them off. So once again, guys, this is basically how I run my defense. Um, you know, if you do like this type of stuff, make sure you go ahead and the like button and stuff like that. If you like the whiteboard stuff, go ahead and hit the like button. So thank you for your support, guys. Until next time.